So team, welcome back to the continuation day three for our QTP training, November 3rd batch. So let's take a quick look at what we did till yesterday. Uh, then we'll progress a little bit more. Uh, but it's going to be very interesting, so please be focused. There will be a lot of new things that will be introduced to you in case you haven't seen these features earlier. Okay, so quick uh, look at what we did. So we have prepared our object repository. We started to write the basic code and we did a bit of it. Then we're going to get going to parameterization. Now, uh, before we start to apply the concept of VB script functions, there is a core activity that I believe very strongly in and this is almost like a very, very critical for you to master and that's basically called debug. Okay, how do you debug your code and what is debug and how we need to do it? So we're going to get to that also today. Now team, quick look at the code from yesterday. So I've opened the ed underscore ddf2. I've also sent the email with the uh, folder zip file containing all the scripts generated so far. You can unzip them and put them in the same folder structure. It's easy for you to reference. If you just need to look at the script, for example, for ddf2, go into that folder on your explorer. Go into the action one folder that you see here. And here you'll see script dot mts file okay that's basically your uh, uh, mercury test script now right click on it and say open with a notepad then you see the script that we wrote is automatically present in this text file so you could make changes here as well but ideally all our changes we will do it on this uh, main code in our expert view okay also team there is another useless feature called keyword view you're absolutely fine if you know zero about it because it is for people who don't want to code the same thing that we do here is also represented in keyword view okay you don't need to learn this there are lots of features which you don't need I will mention them this is just a different view for non programmers which you are not going to be all right team <coughs> so let's continue now we're talking about going into the page 2. So how do I start writing the code? Like yesterday, I'll keep my object repository as a good reference point. And here I have my page 2 and here are the different fields, right? What is the this field team? What is this I've highlighted? What class does it belong rather? Web edit, correct. And that's your edit field on your web page. And what could you perform on those? What did we see that you could do on it as a manual?